decide too late to sign up? We've one slot to bring for anyone willing to play the Skellige deck. Oh, do we have to play a specific deck? Work doth one ennoble, sloth doth one gratify. Count Monnier's brother. My dearest brother, I'm so excited to hear you'll be organizing a tournament where the players will be able to test the new faction. I think this is a fabulous idea. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make an appearance. My health has taken a sudden turn for the worse. The medics don't see much hope for me. Oh well. Everyone shall have their turn, as our father would say. I've had a good life and do not regret anything. Well, except perhaps for a few choice cards I lost over the years, but you cannot gain experience without risking something. Or you cannot gain without risking something. This very well might be the last letter I write to you, so I'd like to know I'd like you to know that I'm very proud of you. A Gwent tournament using the new faction, that is the idea of a lifetime. Do not worry about those who oppose your changes, and indeed the notion of change itself. There shall always be malcontents. Uh, those such as yourself should let intuition guide them and follow the path of progress. Where would our world be today if we allowed only the nearsighted, the unimaginative to steer our affairs? No doubt, stuck in a dark cave with warming fires and illuminating candles beyond our reckoning. Thus, I retain high hopes for your tournament and wish it all the best. I believe it shall soon be the finest, most prestigious Gwent tournament in the world. Your brother, Igor. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon. <laughs> That's a cool idea. Uncertain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer in chief. Our tourney's more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see? To spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skellige, a new Gwent faction. So, okay. Tell me about the new faction. These new cards. Tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit. The rage-filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligers, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts. Ogolas from the cards. Bran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Bran, yeah, that's cool. and Ceres on Kryte, nice. naturally, though not conjoined. Also, Hemdal the hero, the venerable druid Ermion. Throwbacks. The I like it. And where'd you get the idea for the new deck? New deck? Where'd you get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion, travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the <laughs> Skellige Isles. Yeah, I, I actually get sea, behind that. Consumed by a fever, a suicidal awe, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother to defy the new faction. Okay, well, I want to be in, but now I'm a bit worried that I don't have. Where do cards. I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, yeah. but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. So that changes things you see, a bit. I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. I get it. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skellige is no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that would be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. Okay, if he's gonna give us the cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. I'll totally Behold do it. Behold this trophy, standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. <laughs> mm, not bad. Could look great in my house. On the sideboard, maybe. I'm more interested in cash, to be honest, but... Yeah, I'll do it. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Play using the new faction. That is an exceedingly good rub to my loins. <laughs> Just Great. one small adjoinder. I can only provide you a basic Skellige deck. Are you serious? My brother, alas, gave away or lost many key cards. 
No chance I can win the tournament with these cards? An issue easily resolved. You must simply face local Gwent competitors, win the missing cards from them. Besides, it would be very good practice for okay. the tournament itself. Let's see how this is going to go. Here, the cards I can spare you. Take them, please. The rest I keep for myself, for I too intend to play as Skellige. Okay, so we need to find the other Grant card players and win stronger uh, Skellige faction cards from them. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, however, we can at least... We'll do this, like, every once in a while until we build up our deck. Since you're so close, let's start here. Don't slurp your food. Don't eat with your hands. Don't pick your teeth with your knife. Jeez, okay. What? Oh, I'm just jesting. You, sir, clearly were not born in a barn. Welcome to the pheasantry. The best auberge in all the duchy. Okay, so, first of all, do you sell any cards? What are you serving up today? Doesn't look like it, and that's fine. Let's see if we can win. I know you're busy, but round of Gwent? She's like, yes, yeah, sir. and I'll crush sweet shining sun. Okay. Decoy, let's get rid of one of the horns. We have a few spies. We can switch out the ballista. Yeah, that's fine. I do feel like our deck is obviously pretty strong. Nice. Go right ahead, my friend. can't wait for the full release of, uh, like, the single-player Gwent. Oh, that throws things off. I could Scorch here. Uh, let's throw down him. He's probably gonna pass, yeah. And we're, we're gonna have to let him take this round, but that's fine. We're very, very well-equipped for the next round. Um, unless we could take this. You know what? I'm going to take it. That should get us to 32, and then we'll drop this one. But she didn't see that coming. got five cards left in her hand. I don't see her playing any spies in this deck, so that's fine. I guess this is a decent enough scorching opportunity. Oh, damn. This would probably be better. <laughs> yep. That's fine. Nice thing about the uh, the new single player Gwent that's coming out is that they've changed, not changed. I guess they've altered like some of the rules and some of the mechanics. Um, obviously, spies and decoys are incredibly strong in this version, and I'm not sure that that's necessarily going to remain the case. Uh, they'll probably tone that down a bit. All right, good game. So I guess what we'll do... Now we get some money too. I guess it's not too bad. Drag Bondu. Um, are these guys all in this area though? I wonder. Okay, no, they are kind of spread out, which is nice. Uh, one of the areas we're looking at is heading up here. So why don't we do that? 
Is this where the auction is? The clerk was seeking all manners of vagabonds, knights errant, and mercenaries. Poston did not seem to be an offer of witcher's work. Even so, Geralt decided to learn more about this mystery job. I think we should do it. And if I'm not mistaken, it was to the north. Yeah, so it's up here. Uh, there's a notice board there. And then we could head into this little village. Check the notice board and play a round of Gwent. So, yeah, that'll work out just fine. Now, from our current location, we can head back to the Nilfgaardian Embassy. It's going to be a big fall. Art is not life's bread and butter, but it's so, building up that deck, that's a pretty hefty investment. I wish I would have known that earlier, and I would have been doing, like, smaller Gwent matches here and there. They're obviously heavily... It's very busy in the city here. Less on the outskirts, but that's fine. That's fine. Maybe what I'll do is, um, if people are interested, maybe what I'll do is, like, a live stream or something just to collect the, the cards. It'd be pretty chill. Everybody can just hang out. Let's go! Because I know for some people that's not... Gwent is not their, uh, their cup of tea. And that's fine. So I can see how, like, multiple episodes to go running around all over the place collecting Gwent cards might not be the most exciting thing that's ever happened. Oh, jeez. There's, <laughs> there's people in here. This is such a cool area. Oh, not so fast, Roach. Why don't you all just get off my back? All right, let's check out the notice board first. Widow seeks nanny. Nanny needed for the offspring, ages four and seven, of a recently perished knight errant. Not really my job. Transport security professionals. Eh, maybe. Job involves escorting three wagons through their entire journey to Bellhaven, protecting them while they unload. That would be cool. We could probably do that. Imperial Cuisine. The Cockatrice Inn offers a wide variety of Nilfgaardian specialties. Try our delectable hair pate, our famous crayfish soup, and grilled vegetables harvested under the Empire's sunny skies. Leroy's dead. <laughs> The knight known as Sir Leroy has died during a one-man raid against monsters carried out on his own volition and against everyone else's better judgment. He left no family or relations of any sort. He wanted to be a hero. May he rest in peace. Uh, all those who are interested are hereby informed that a funeral ceremony conducted according to Lebiota's rite will be held in three days. I wonder if that's a reference to uh, Leroy Jenkins. Probably is. Aviothrope. Dangerous aviothrope. Creature half-woman, half oriole. Half been seen near the palace at night. I've spoken to several witnesses, but the Ducal Guard remains deaf. Oh, cool. This may be the beast. They're a little off. And a warning. Vermentio, or Vermentino vineyard workers diddle their own mums. And one of them does his da, too. <laughs> what the? Oh! I placed the first beat. But I made the best offer. What's going on here? For four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. How do they prove themselves worthy of selling this stuff or receiving it? Well, Happy, this is your fault. Mine? You're deranged, woman. Hark, good folk. Be it known, Matilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic. Doesn't look cursed to me, just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly, how would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? <laughs> Better. A connoisseur. <laughs> I see we speak the same tongue. So tell me, the swords, you merely wear them to intimidate? Or do you actually use them? Want to find out? Trade. 
I'm a witcher. Is our medallion seeking work? Are you? You, you see, humming. I wish to buy a vineyard, Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home at Coronata. What kind of troubles we talking about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium infested with monsters. My steward gone missing with an entire transport of wine. Uh, and someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? I mean, I don't work for free, but Good yes, I will help it, you. But not for free. That goes without saying. What is your rate? You probably can't afford me, but since you're looking to buy this giant place, I'm going to say... 900. Could you not reduce it a shave? Okay. A shave. 888. Could you not reduce it a okay, shave? Okay, this is not going the way I'd like. I wonder if there's a way of figuring that out sounds fair. what they'll do. 850. Sure That's still sounds pretty good. like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. That'll put I us over what really we need. Truly grateful. Thank you. For the My uh, stables. lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. Yeah, good luck with that, pal. Oh, I had a feeling she'd want to see me. You're a witcher, yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre, Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with a dashing gaze. The fair face. Then reveals a coal black heart. But that's all besides the point. I stopped you because I oh, want God. to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. <clears throat> Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my box. Several sticks. It's probably a my metaphor. Cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man eating plants have sprouted on my path. Oh, I know these plants. And strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me <laughs> before you help Liam? Oh no. I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. Uh, I am a connoisseur. So we said 850. I'm gonna say 950. I sense we're close. Very close. Are you serious? How about 925? I sense we're close. Very close. You said more than him. This is not really that significant. I sense we're close. <laughs> Very close. I mean... I sense we're close. This is... Very close. You're not paying me more than him then. Fine. Settled. Same. Let's see if we can help them both. I can help. At least try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. So now, I imagine we can go and I shall stay here for a solve time. one of the problems. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while we can my come back and be like, hey, it's fixed, gotcha. and then be like, okay, well Farewell. then I'll buy this one. Um, no penchant for living to work. No. The other option is. We go and we do both. Deal with all the problems at the Coronada Vineyard. Just a or Vermentino. And I shall get them. Yeah. Interesting stuff. I'm trying to think if we could do both. Yeah. 
I'm thinking we go and do both before we re report back here. And see if we can be like, hey, both of your problems are solved. Each time I come here, I you both have to pay me. And you guys can figure out how to convince that guy to let you buy the, the other estate. If you still even want it. Maybe they'll be like, well, if it's working, it's working. I don't see traders very often. Let's see what he's got. Have you any needs? Mind if I glance at what you got? Okay, he's got dye solution. It's really that's about it. So long. Good luck on the path. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we've got something down here. We might as well check out as well. Empty wine bottles, leftovers. What am I looking for here? I want can outsiders like sign up, or is this a closed event? Mind your manners. Oh, what? Your manners. Okay. What? Lost no. your nerve? Jeez. Our fist fighting luck has not been great so far. Jumped. <laughs> That's too funny. I think the fights are a lot tougher because the enemies are scaled. Uh, but that guy totally Great. jumped me. It says it's completed, as in failed. Uh, maybe not. Uh, what's it called? Big feet to fill. Come on. Skellige, Kermorin, Velen. Here we go. Big feet to fill. Ah, it didn't work. Once the drunken workers had given Geralt a thorough thrashing, they gathered the gear and set off to the destination, which was the building site of the Prophet Lebiota statue. Well, that isn't cool. All right, let's go back to Wine Wars here. <laughs> all these fights have I've all been like, some of them are it, right down to the wire. That guy, his buddy cheap shot at me. I thought it was just a fight between him and I. I was wrong, obviously. And uh, yeah, great times, great times. So what are the problems here? I'm guessing these are going to be like clusters Just of... Just wonderful. Oh yeah. Oh nice! Oh that's- the ice is so good! Okay, now we've got another one of these, like, statue things here. Smashed bones. Damn, it was strong. Oh, this is the big feet to fill thing. Hold on. Deep prints. Blood. Just trying to get away. Maybe not necessarily... Smashed bones. Damn, it was strong. I'll take this stuff. Whoa. Damn. Ripped to shreds. So I think we're kind of mixing two things here. This is another marking of that 
Lebiota statue, so... Again. We haven't seen one for quite a while. Is it a relic? It's Spriggans, right? Nope, not there. Not a vampire. It's not like a troll thing. Don't think it's a necrophage. Nope. Hybrids, maybe? No. I don't think it's Elementa. Have we not? I'm sure we fought a Spriggan before. He doesn't give two shits about that. That can happen from time to time. Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, is this what I think it is? Thank you, sir. Oh, you? no. <laughs> Let Piotta keep you in his care. I'm not even sure what this big feet to fill thing is. Like Skellige. That's the second group. This is the third group. No one abandons his car without good cause when Geralt happened to cross just uh, just such a cast-off means of transport during his travels, he decided to learn more about where what had become of its erstwhile owners. It seemed the caravan had been attacked by a spriggan. The workers who had been traveling with it managed to escape and had taken shelter in a cave. Geralt killed the monster and saved the lives of the workers, who it turned out were builders helping erect the statue of the prophet Leviota. Okay, so are there multiple of these? I don't see it, so maybe it's just something that we stumble onto. It's interesting because it was in the exact same location. Let's go. But I guess now. Oh, rock beans. Beautiful. Oh, it's so good. The freezing! Oh, I missed him! Back away! So I imagine there's gonna be like groups of these monsters. Approximately five groups. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Not good. And 
perhaps. Oh. Augustine Tonnelly's journal. Thick journal written in a steady hand. The last pages, however, contain different handwriting full of blots and crossed out words. A mysterious gentleman has come to me asking whether I would agree to sell him the stock of barrels we're preparing for the new wine variety. Okay. I refused him curtly, for I know how much the new wine means to Miss Matilda, the girl we're trying to help, and how much depends on this wine's success. After all, things have been very tight at the vineyard these last days. This extremely mysterious gentleman has turned out to be equally extremely wealthy. He came to me again with a very hefty pouch. Bum blast it. <laughs> Bum blast it? It'll be very hard to refuse him if he puts me to that trial again. Today I forgot to lock the gates to the barrel storehouse. I'm very ashamed. What else should I do? Or what? But what could I do? Miss Matilda's crushed. I won't touch that coin until all has settled down. I've hidden a sack stuffed with Nilfgaardian florins in the sunflower fields. I would not want someone to find such a fortune in my home. He has paid me another visit. This time he wanted me to procure him the recipe for the new wine. I do have some honor. Barrels are one thing. I can make new ones. Perhaps even better ones. But the recipe for the wine? I said I'd die- I'd sooner die. Then he gave me this strange look, sent shivers down my spine. I think I'd best barricade my doors. So this could be, um, it could be the other guy who's asked us for help. Trying to buy this recipe. And now we know that this guy's hidden this chest in a sunflower field, so. Let's go looking for that. Slow now. Whoa. Come on, Roach. And I bet you we're gonna have to like piece together this little mystery of who this guy is. If he's causing wrongdoings, I bet you she's not totally clean either. Even a horse drops if you ride it. He buried it near a very populated area, apparently. Look at this. <laughs> 95. That's great. Okay. We should probably finish up Wine Wars here. And there's probably a lot more going on to it than what we would imagine. So we'll head over to this one. I think we'll probably take a break here. And then uh, when we come back, we'll find another uh, problem at Vermentino here and try and solve them all. And then we'll go to the other wine place, see what we can learn there, and then we'll go back and confront them both with what we find. Maybe it's, maybe there's a mystery, maybe it's not. Maybe he's just trying to do what we think, but uh, we'll definitely have to find out. Wish me luck, guys. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.